All right, friends, so uh, I'm gonna do a little catch-up video. So I um, lost an SSD a few weeks ago and it kind of put me out of video editing for a little bit because I edited on a second uh, solid-state drive. So anyway, I recovered that. So I wanna catch you guys up on my DTG printer build. Um, my DTG printer build is fully functioning and um well it's not fully functioning but it's ready to print on shirts all i have to do is change the ink so what i want to do is catch you up on where i left off in the last video so what i've done since then is i have connected the power bus to the all-in-one board that's sold by open dtg so what i did is cut the power bus in half and please make sure the printer's unplugged because there are dangerous voltages in here and that power bus is 48 volts and it's not protected. So if you cut it while it's live, it's gonna shock the heck out of you and it's probably gonna ruin your printer. But once you do that, you need to pull the wires apart. And I'm gonna point with the reverse end here. So you cut these wires apart and peel them back and then you, you strip off like an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, probably closer to quarter of an inch. And then you stick them in one at a time in the same order that they come out of the Epson board. So green, then there's a black, and then there's, a, 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 I think it's black with a gray stripe, if I remember right. But you stick them in the same order and you do the same thing on the other side, keep them in the same order. And then you hook up the, and we'll see if we can move this a little bit. So you hook up the stepper motor and you hook up these cables here, which go over and pick up off the main board and off of the um, automatic sheet feeder. And then there is a limit switch that hooks in. So that brings you to the point where the printer is functional. Now you need to run the Arduino uh, Integrated Development Environment or IDE, and you need to program the first you need to download a couple of components um i don't remember what they are off the top of my head but there's there's two components you need to download it's it's well documented on the open dtg site and then you need to build or compile the program that's going to be installed on the arduino processor that's on this all-in-one board and then once you do that you need to upload it to the board um, there are plenty of great videos on how to build arduino uh, or how to compile arduino programs and how to upload them to um, an arduino unit um, so once you've done that there is a second piece of software called OpenDTG Desktop that you can download that allows you to um, run the printer or at least control the platens. Now, I'm gonna install some buttons in my next video that will take the place of this, but for now, I'm using a, a virtual control panel. So, let's see. So you gotta set the COM port and if one doesn't work, just Go to the next one. Mine happens to be on COM4. And uh, so I'm getting a little roughness when my platen moves and I've got to look into that. I think there's something else going on here. But you can see my platen moves in and out just fine. So there's three functions, there's platen in, platen out, and um, two pass, which means it'll print in two passes. And so I'm gonna install some buttons to control those, and I've got the buttons. Um, the other thing you need to do, and this is very important, you need to go into the printer's control panel and disable automatic paper size detection. Otherwise, nothing will happen. You will continue to get errors. So without let me extract my camera here and move this around to this side. 